Hello, my name is William Pambok. I come from a community called Wade, that's southwest of Darwin. I have a grandson. His name is uh, Jeremy Perjet, Aboriginal name Yatpala. I took him out hunting one day. Jeremy was sweating and he just didn't look well. He had a uh, sore in the chest and headache. Jeremy told his mother that I am sick. I think we need to go to the hospital. The doctors in Wadea did an x-ray and a few blood tests and then the result came back. He has a rheumatic heart disease and we were so worried from there. The doctor spoke to us in Wadea Clinic saying, Jeremy need to fly in, into Darwin. We stayed six weeks in Darwin, did a lot of tests and stuff and, and x-ray of his heart. Jeremy's a special kid uh, who has been through a lot and it's hard to imagine for such a young boy the things that he's been through because of rheumatic heart disease. And I met him for the first time while he was in hospital with really critical aortic valve disease where your heart's pumping your blood out of the heart, goes to the rest of the body. And his was leaking terribly and so it had all this blood coming back the wrong way and his heart was sick because of it, he was sick because of it, um, breathless and, uh, and struggling actually and desperately needed cardiac surgery. He was so sick, his blood pressure was down to nothing. It was very clear that if, if he stayed at Royal Darwin Hospital any longer, he could lose his life. The doctors in Darwin said to us, look, we need to send Jeremy straight away to Melbourne. It was scary and sad. We don't know what we were expecting down there. They had to try and open his heart so that blood can flow. Michelle and I, as grandparents, we were so worried about Jeremy's little heart. He had a very successful cardiac surgery on his aortic valve. He returned to Darwin and then back to community to Wadea. But you know when a child gets rheumatic heart disease surgery, it fixes that problem with the valve, but it doesn't make the risk of rheumatic fever go away. And so it's still possible for them if they get further infections with the strep germ, it can come back essentially. He developed severe chest pain and shortness of breath. With that he presented to the local clinic, but it happened to be right in the middle of the cyclone that came through. Asked to return to the health clinic a few days later. When he did, he was in very poor shape. He was very short of breath, had a very low blood pressure, and his heart was just pumping out of his chest. So he was stabilised in hospital in Darwin, travelled back to Melbourne, had further cardiac surgery, and now is back in Wadea, which is terrific. Great for being back with the family and healthy again. Uh, but it emphasises what a dreadful disease this is and how vigilant we have to be and the kids who've been diagnosed as well. He's got uh, four valves in his heart. Three are not working. He's not allowed to go to school. Otherwise, if he go to school, play his bikes or with friends around or get pushed over, Jeremy might pass away. So that really means getting his monthly injections, penicillin injections, getting his warfarin every single day, in addition to that, getting a blood test every fortnight to make sure the blood is not too thin or not too thick. So he had his first surgery at eight. A year and a half later, at nine and a half, he had his second surgery. Now he's 10, he's almost guaranteed to need a third surgery between 13 and 15 years of age. This is a 10-year-old boy who was born completely healthy so the journey ahead of him is a really tough one. The best cardiology and cardiosurgical care is not going to fix this problem. Housing, hygiene, education, they're the core things we really need to focus to stop children coming down with rheumatic fever, prevent that trajectory down towards cardiac surgery. To the community of Wadea, if your kids are sick, 
and if you see the kids are feeling hell or, or tired or so throat or something, please take your children to the clinic if they're checked up in case they have rheumatic heart fever.